Stay tuned to find out why client Earth, these guys, have been taking the UK government to court not once, not twice, but three times over air that kills. Although the names Greenpeace and WWF might be more familiar to most of us, why this NGO is one of the unsung heroes and discover the truth behind Europe's ugly addiction to coal. Hi, I'm Rebecca and this is Green Pages, episode 9. I've just finished reading Client Earth by James Thornton and Martin Goodman. Client Earth is a seriously cool NGO made up of a team of incredibly talented lawyers who have one client, quite obviously, the Earth. Coming up next, the three biggest takeaways from this book, what it inspired me to do next, and what my favourite part of the book was. The first big key takeaway for me was the reality of air pollution, and air that kills, literally. I associated dirty air with something to be in China or India or where there were lots of factories. It certainly wasn't something that I associated with Europe and particularly the UK. By reading this book, you'll quickly realise the impact the air pollution has on human health. Air pollution is linked to 400,000 premature deaths per year in Europe and in the UK, 40,000 deaths per year. I love the opening paragraph in the chapter, An Air That Kills. James was quite clear the move to London would shorten his life. He also saw no choice. You could not start a public environmental law group outside of the capital. Such a group had to be near the seat of power to influence the lawmakers. The second key takeaway from this amazing book was the five stages of a life cycle of an environmental law. First one is the science in which James and his team uh, listened to their client the earth through the science through the data the second one is creating policy third is lawmaking the fourth is implementation and that's where the law starts its life in the real world and the fifth is enforcement now the fifth one is really important because this is the one that's so often missing and there were so many examples in the book in which ngos had had good intentions but they hadn't followed that life cycle right through to the fifth stage, which was enforcement. And it was like a jigsaw puzzle missing that final piece in order to make that complete picture. And in order to make that environmental law a success in the real world. And that's the kind of sort of stuff you just don't get to learn in the cool movies like Erin Brockovich or Pelican Brief or the more recent one, Dark Waters. Third key takeaway from this book was for me the... Uh, reality, the ugly reality of Europe's addiction to coal. I, I thought of coal as really a thing from our past, definitely, certainly not something that was our present and it wasn't our future. This book will open your mind to the ugly reality that coal is really bad for human health and not only that, it is catastrophic for the environment. The Noble Client Earth team are challenging and going head to head with coal power plants all over Europe. Not just the 250 in existence in Europe, but plans for new ones for our future despite the climate crisis. Challenging their unlawful behaviour, pollution and using the power of the law, these guys are getting the coal power plants to clean up or to shut down. It's actually probably in the beginning when James was sort of starting out and he went head to head with two major corporations which was the ham capital of the world yes it is as disgusting as it sounds and Bethlehem uh, Bethlehem Steel sorry this is really where you get to see the kind of David meets Goliath where James is up against these corporations with huge power and money behind them and he goes on to win case after case after case First of all, I went straight to the Client Earth website and signed up to their e-newsletter and that allowed me to get real-time updates in the times they were going to court, the new corporations they were going after, the new challenges they were fighting every single day. So you got that real sense that you're on the front line and you're amongst the action and I really, really like that aspect of it. So I, I, that's the first thing I did and that's what it inspired me to do next. Through the pages of this book and learning about what the team at Client Earth do, you'll gain a huge appreciation 
for the art of lawmaking and driving environmental laws all the way through to the success of them actually being in the real world and holding those companies and governments to account. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Green Pages and I really hope you'll join me for the next one because I will be uh, talking about the book Sustainable Travel, the essential guide to positive impact adventures. Until then, 